Hello, thank you for joining me on a Scotch and Ramen two minute drill. I'm Steven, I'm a web developer here, and I'm here to talk to you about picking technology and tools. Uh, we kind of talked already a little bit about you know why WordPress and, and why we kind of use that here at Scotch and Ramen. Um, but I just kind of want to talk to you in general about picking a tool or picking a technology and, and how you kind of make that decision and go f go forward with it. Um, research step one, you know, do do some do some googling, figure out what's out there, what's the available options for you, uh, whether it's like a WordPress plugin or if you're even trying to look at doing a framework or something that's kind of a you know JavaScript framework that's going to help you build a website that's not for WordPress necessarily, um, or even you know what your methodology and your approach is going to be. Um, so I, my personal preference is just start researching, reading as much as you can, um, looking at reviews uh, when it comes to plugins. You know, like go through the support forums, see how often they're doing updates, how often they're active. Because they don't have to have like the most recent updates because it could be a very solid, solid um, platform. But if they somebody put a recent support up or a support six months ago that's been uh, ignored. Uh, that's definitely some some kind of raise for concern. Um, from there, you know, try it, get it. Uh, most of these things have um, buyer's remorse or you know return policies, if you will, so you can get it. Uh, do some experiments, kind of set up and, and figure out if it's going to work for you right away. And once you figure out if it's going to work, go to town, um, use it. Um, you know, there's always an interest in changing things just for the sake of changing things. And so there's a, you know, you can change things just for having a, a new tool or a new flavor. Um, but there are times where you kind of, and this has happened to me, where I've looked for something that I thought would be great, tried it out, wasn't great, and kind of went back to the old because it, it, it worked. Um, so kind of keep that in mind too. Um, so again, just be careful, read, experiment, try, be open to some new experiences, and uh, you know, pick those technologies that are going to help you do what you need to do best. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day.